we could hear the incredulousness in your voice as well as with Van Gundy and Mark Jackson when it comes to Matt Della Vadova. W what about when it's a commercial break and you guys take your headsets off? Are, are, are you looking at each other saying, who is this guy? Absolutely. But saying it uh, with such admiration um, because he's, he's what every fan dreams of being, you know, the unheralded guy that – that you know doesn't look like the greatest athlete, but he just plays so hard, and everything that comes his way is from effort. And, and I, I'm happy for him because I felt that the dirty tag that was placed on him after some of the hard fouls, the Corver, the Horford, and the Taj Gibson fouls early in the playoffs, and people were saying he was a dirty player. He's not. Does he play reckless? Yes. Uh, but that's why he's on the team. That's why he's getting minutes. Uh, and, and that's why uh, he's been able to come as far as he's been able to come. So... Uh, I, I think that just the average person can relate to him because of that humility as well. I mean, he did a great job on Curry the other day, and all he wanted to say was, you know, it's really it's the team defense, it's our schemes that work. He's not accepting any of the of the individual credit. Well, I mean, it, there there is some switching that's going on on Curry that I'm seeing, Mike, that, that, that does lend credence to the idea that it's a team defense. But from my perspective, what I'm seeing from Della Vadova is – uh, uh, a, an attitude that permeates throughout the rest of the team for its defense. That is what I, it does appear that they're taking their cue from Della Vadova on that front and, and not LeBron. What about from your seat? Mike? Yeah, that, that's a great point. I mean, effort is contagious. And when you see a guy going all out like that, and, and James is playing the same way, but Della Vadova it, it plays so hard to the point where he had to be hospitalized. I mean, can, can that make the narrative any better? Um, the fact that the guy goes so out that he's got to go to the hospital. And I think, I haven't checked recently, but I think he just got released. Um, so there's no question that you see a guy diving for every loose ball. So the next loose ball, you're going to dive for it because your teammate's doing it. And, it, you know, it really has spread throughout. And they, they have rallied around this count them out uh, theory that a lot of people have when Kyrie Irving went down. Uh, I couldn't believe how many people thought there was going to be a sweep uh, or, or at least five games. And I think it's, it's something that LeBron has thrown into their heads as a motivational tool, and, and they've used it. And I'm not big on that, you know, the chip on the shoulder, everybody counted the world was against us. I, I think that's so cliché. But I, I think in this particular instant, it really has some validity. Uh, before I let you go, our poll question today, Chris Brockman, would you care to read off the names that we've uh, tried to rename Matt Della Vadova. Maybe Mike picks one and, and likes it enough that it, it comes out of his mouth, maybe even just Freudian slipwise. All right, well, I'm going to do my best here. So Go which nickname do you like for Matt Della Vadova the best? Matthew Lockdown of Vadova? Lockdown of Vadova. Matthew and one of Vadova. And one of Vadova. Matthew Dove on the floor of a... D down, no, no, not over. He's not Russian. Just Matt Dove on, <laughs> Dove on the flora. Dove on the flora. Matthew Cramp up a dove, of a Dova. Yeah. Or well, Matthew Reserve, reserve tank, tank of a Dova. Dova. Which one do you like, Mike? <laughs> I like Dove on the floor. Dove on the flora. Okay. Matt, and you know it's going to happen in game four, Mike. Right, that's Dove. the one. The, the N1 well, one, you know, it happens once in a while. The sure. Dove on the floor happens every time he runs down the court. Please go ahead. Use it as your own. Go ahead. <laughs> Do I need to give credit? Look, uh, look, I know that there's, you know, I used to be with the worldwide leader. You <laughs> might be able to slip that one past the goalie, but just go ahead, Mike. Just use it, and we'll know, and we'll know. That's all. That's a deal. Okay. Thanks for calling in, Mike. Hi, right, Rich. Good to talk you to you. You bet. You're the best. That's Mike Breen. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.